Hi guys, I'm Matt with Jack Pine Paddle. Uh, today we are going to be working on an alley pack canoe. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's about a 16, 17 foot canoe. You can get all different sizes. Uh, that actually is kind of built like a tent and it can pack into a, into a backpack. Uh, it's about a 55 pound pack, but it loads really well on and off a plane uh, for going out into the big bush. Um, so you don't have to worry about loading up a full 17 foot long canoe for all your gear. Today what we're going to be doing with it is making sure that all the pipes that connect are nice and clean and clear of dirt and debris and any uh, hard like snags or anything like that that uh, will make it easier to connect and won't rip through any of your gear. So that's what we're doing. So here's what we've got laid out today. Uh, we've got our alley pack canoe laid out here on the ground so far. Uh, what comes in the bag is the shell got a pad for uh, your knees and everything when you're kneeling in the canoe. Got all of our poles that will run along the length of the canoe. And then these guys are little cross braces that will go across the bottom to give it a set of ribs to hold the shape. And then of course we've got some super comfy seats. And uh, like I said, it all packs up into a backpack, so we've actually got four over here that are packed into their backpack mode. So again, it's about 55 pounds, you can throw it on your back, it's got nice wide straps so it's super comfy, and it's really easy to throw on and off a plane and carry with you as you go through the bush. So what we've got going on down here is we've got all of our poles that again run the length of the canoe to give it some structure. Uh, the ones that I've got laid out here I've already cleaned and wiped down of all sorts of dirt and debris. The little connectors here are uh, what I'm really worried about. As they slide into each other sometimes they can get lodged, uh, filled with dirt and sand and that sort of thing and it makes them really difficult to uh, put together and take apart. And when you're in the bush surrounded by bugs that's a lot, uh, a lot worse. Uh, so we want to make it as smooth as we can for our, when our trips go out. So all I'm doing today with them giving them a nice wipe down with the cloth, a little bit of a sand to scrape off any of the, the big particles of dirt and debris, make sure it's all nice and shiny, and then I'm clearing out the inside of the other pole where it goes into. Yeah. So we're just setting up the alley pack canoe right now. Um, so it's got this foam bottom here. And that goes in and that gives the boat its flotation and makes it really comfortable on your knees. And so now that we have the foam inside the vinyl skin, we're going to insert the canoe chimes. Right now, we're just doing some cleaning here. Obviously the boat is super dirty, so we're actually cleaning mud off from Franklin Bay. And so this, the last place this boat was, was the end of the Horton River, which is the most northerly river on mainland North America. So 
pretty cool that we're down here in Yellowknife and we're actually, yeah, cleaning up some mud from the shores of the Arctic Ocean. Um, as cool as it is to be cleaning up mud. We have uh, the chimes in and the, the keel in. We're gonna put some of the cross ribs in, and this is really gonna complete the boat and give it its final structure. So, several of these pieces, and what you basically do is you position them in place, and then you use a mallet, a rubber mallet, to bang them in. So, we're getting there. like the alley canoe has most of its shape to it so this is the 16 and a half all around version um, we haven't quite put in the seats yet or finished assembling all the cross pieces but you can see there's quite a bit of tension on the on the vinyl skin so yeah pretty much have it your alley canoe um, Again, this is their whitewater version, or what they call their all-around, so it gives you a bit more maneuverability and uh, doesn't quite track as well, not quite as fast as the lake version. How did you find these last summer? All right, they are to turn. I came to have a lot of uh, you know, anticipation in the movements, being able to maneuver them well, and not be on sharp turns. In, in the way that you can unveil them and put them in the backpack is the best you can get, right? Yeah. It's compromises. Yeah. So there you have it. There is the alley canoe uh, setup and repair. Um, so hopefully you've learned a little bit from the video and thanks for tuning in. <laughs>